These are some of the very first aerial pictures of what New Orleans looks like today. Who can forget what it looked like? The fires, the flooding, the desperation. The Lower Ninth Ward almost completely underwater. More than 1,800 lives lost, more than 100,000 homes destroyed. The levees were flawed in their design, the local, state, and federal government flawed in their response. Thousands of residents, including many sick and elderly, were left for days in the heat and chaos of the Superdome and the Convention Center. Some died waiting for help to arrive. And Brownie, you're doing a heck of a job. <laughs> Ten years later, New Orleans is not the same city it was. Parts of New Orleans are thriving. Restaurants, businesses booming, other parts still have far to go. Mayor Mitch Landrieu says the problems in this city didn't start with Katrina, and he says New Orleans is on track to become stronger and more prosperous than ever. A lot of people say New Orleans is back. They come here, they see more restaurants open than ever before, they see the school system, they see the improvements. There's a lot of people who say it's not back for everybody, that inequality still exists, Lower Ninth Ward. Sure, that's true. A lot needs to sure, be done. That's absolutely true, but here's the thing. Um, New Orleans, before the storm, was a descending city. Now New Orleans, according to Forbes, Wall Street, Journal, all those things, is an ascendant city. More people are moving in. They're saying we're the fastest growing economy. The economy may be growing and the schools better than they've ever been, but with less affordable housing and higher rents, many who fled the storm have never returned. In the Lower Ninth Ward, the population is 80 percent less than prior to the storm. Before the storm, the city was 67 percent African American. It's now 60 percent African American, and the white population is 32. So this city is still a majority minority city, and I expect it will be for a very long time. The levees have been rebuilt, flood protection increased, but is it enough to withstand another storm like Katrina? We got to Katrina by ignoring the science. That was it. And my biggest concern is that we Americans are still ignoring the science. And, and you know, we're going to have another Katrina.